Hey guys, welcome back to Six With Is. My name is Solani M and I am the Six Conversationalist. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming back and tuning in. If you're new, please look around your screen. I'm pretty sure there's a red subscribe button there. Tap on it. Join us. Let's chat about sex, babies. <laughs> in today's video i wanted us to talk about um biological sex um i wanna basically show you or explain why or how it is not binary and why and how it is harmful um that we view it as such it is not binary it is actually uh, a spectrum so i want to like explain a little bit what that means what does binary mean binary means it's either or it can either be one or one or another thing two of two things um and that's not gender um we also have intersex we have female we have male we have intersex and intersex is like a variation it's like in between um male and female which are extreme variations of sex um so uh without wasting time i think we should talk about i've spoken it. a little bit about what binary means and um and and i'm saying that bi biological sex is not binary um i found a few definitions of sex um they're they're slightly different and i and i'd like us to note the differences and and choose to accept a very specific definition because of inclusivity because we now understand that sex biological sex is not binary so the first one um says sex refers to the different biological and physiological characteristics of males and females such as reproductive organs chromosomes hormones etc that's the first one the second one sex refers to the biological and physiological characteristics that define humans as male and female these sets of biological characteristics are not mutually exclusive as there are individuals who possess both um, but these characteristics tend to be to differentiate humans as females or males so it isn't binary um, biological sex are, biological sex are characteristics of humans that um, they define human beings human beings have penises human beings have bananas human beings have breasts human beings have x y chromosomes human beings have x x chromosomes human beings possess those characteristics these sets of biological um characteristics are not mutually exclusive so um people can have both they're called intersex and that is neither female nor male um or it is both and it is we need to broaden our understanding of the fact that we're literally all on the spectrum some people have very clear characteristics such as their genitalia proving it to them some of us haven't even like most of us haven't had our chromosomes tested we don't know what our chromosomes are and we could have chromosomes that are like saying more male while you present you present female it's literally things that happen these things are possible these people people exist as such and it's ignorant of us to to view sex as binary and it, further than it being igno ignorant i think it it, er it erases the existence of real people the fact that we treat 
we view gender we view sex as binary this is not just ourselves individually even like in medicine like even how medicine has viewed sex historically i think it's growing and it's le like i think it's growing and I, I don't know i hope it's adapting and i don't know learning because it's really have it really has been harmful to people who don't who 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 extremely and knowingly are aware of the fact that they're like they don't fit into it has been very harmful to exist in a society that actively excludes them or actively tries to fix them because we view and literally that's the only reason we people the only reason their people are being fixed is because we view sex as binary okay it's not the only reason people go through medical procedures for medical reasons um but i think that our perspective on things generally in society is very ignorant and it's ignorant it is dehumanizing biological sex is determined by various of factors um it is determined firstly by gen not firstly this is just things that determine biological sex not in any order honestly i'm not really yeah not in any order um genitalia um <laughs> it's so funny it's actually a little funny that biological sex is determined by genitalia yet we still think biological sex is binary You've never seen two similar vaginas in your whole fucking life. You've never seen two similar penises in your whole motherfucking life. You haven't. Identical ones? Never. But for some weird reason, you think... I meant vulva. For some weird reason, you think... everyone is just either this or that when this or that is not even defined that's the thing this or that is not even clear because even there you don't find the same shit and it's just like why are we taught these things like this guys like we chromosomes are the next determinant of biological sex in our heads we know i don't even have to read a book for this i just know because everyone says it and everyone knows it um i yeah w female xy chrom no xx chromosome male xy chromosome that's what we know that's that's what we think is happening in in each body that we perceive to be male and in each body that we perceive to be female we think that's what's going on in terms of chromosomes and do you know that it is possible for a person to have both xy chromosome and the xx chromosomes it's not written here you can go your you are going your own your whole fucking life majority of you not even knowing <laughs> what chromosomes you have never done the whole test thing and you base your perception of society you you silence people you ignore people on something you haven't even verified on your own self I really just think we need to do a lot of work in terms of unlearning. I don't know, man. Transphobia, homophobia. Like, we gotta do something. Because it's not only... Hin like, it is harmful. It's Like, it is not only hindering you. Because if you haven't tried to unlearn that shit, I just want to say to you... I'm pretty, like, I'm, I'm more than, like, 100% sure that you're having mediocre sex. 
like you just are and you can fight and fight and fight and fight and fight and fight i don't really care you haven't taken time to learn anything about yourself and that is why you can hold uphold ideals or uphold just like just accept shit like this um or try and argue with that's why you would want to try and argue with the fact that it is a spectrum biological sex is a spectrum that's why you will try and argue with that that is literally why that is the rule right? because you don't love yourself enough to really learn about what's going on in you and you expect who to you and then on top of that you believe that you're maximizing pleasure wow um another determining factor for biological sex are are gonads 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 we all have gonads male female we all have gonads literally gonads are um the the glands that basically produce either testes or or the ovum the ovaries or something and we all have them but some people have gonadal disorders I'm saying disorders because I don't like I don't know if that's how it should be viewed but that's how it is viewed that's how you read it when you take the information and so my thing is so the people who have gonadal um, disorders whose bodies are struggling to structure testes or ovums what, what do they not are they not male or are they not female do you know do you do you see that gender is like that sex is a spectrum we're not falling into boxes none of us do it li life doesn't work like that it wouldn't make any sense it literally wouldn't make any sense for all of us to <laughs> it, it just wouldn't make sense for the order to be so strictly and like male and female like you know like it this is nature bro grow the fuck up you know <laughs> we're just all so different guys and it's like so if i don't have that if or if i don't meet that standard what happens what am i to be fixed am i broken do I not have a place in the world? Do you know? You know, like, and, and like, the thing is, us acting like biological sex or treating biological sex as if it is binary. That's what we're saying to people who don't, which we all generally don't all fit exactly into the extremes of male and female. You're saying they don't exist. They need to be fixed. And that is crazy considering the fact that you don't look like any other human being on earth in any way. It's literally very crazy. Hormone responses are also a determining factor. And I don't know if you can tell hormone responses from a newborn baby. Can you take them and say this, these are your hormonal responses? and therefore male therefore female some of the things that have to do with your biological sex develop in your life do you guys get that and then there's like secondary um sex characteristics such as like breasts pubic hair facial hair and stuff like that i mean my sister's got facial hair does that make her secondary sex characteristically male and then do you see do you see because for me it is very clear that biological sex not binary you're it's you <laughs> 
men don't all have the same penises females don't all have the same vulvas males don't people who are assigned male at birth don't all have the same chromosomes people who are assigned female at birth don't all have the same chromosomes actually i wonder if those things are even checked before you're assigned that sex um gonads do you know like i don't know like i don't know what more to say to you guys except yeah i really don't know like i don't know intersex people make up about two percent of the world's population that's basically more than russia's population and yet these so many people exist in a society that believes biological sex to be binary these people are being treated by professionals that accept biological sex to be binary people spend their lives feeling ashamed of how they were born feeling like they need to be fixed actually going through procedures to be fixed procedures that are literally unnecessary because biological sex is not binary and people are suffering out there because we are accepting that narrative children are suffering i think that our ignorance is harmful it excludes people it literally erases human beings existence and experiences um labeling and putting them in boxes putting people in boxes viewing them as the anomaly the abnormal as if we don't know that as human beings we come in variations i don't know i don't know like where you guys draw the line in terms of people just being who they are where do you where do we draw the line i mean i think that at some point being people are still bleaching their skin to fit into this children are, are are going through harmful surgeries to fit into the narrative of a binary and we can just tweet and type says ning lezinto I want to conclude this video with a little bit of a quote from Emily Quinn um, when she said imagine a world where we could all live in a society that teaches us not to have shame about the things that our bodies do or do not do thank you so much for watching this video um if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you didn't enjoy it please give it a thumbs up um and if you haven't please subscribe to my damn channel and i will see you guys in my next video goodbye